be lifted higher, higher, higher. Jesus, you be lifted higher, Hosanna in the high, highest let our King be lifted up, Hosanna, Hosanna in the high, highest let our King be lifted up, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the high, highest let our King be lifted up, Hosanna. Be lifted higher, higher. Be lifted higher, be lifted higher, be lifted higher, be lifted higher. Jesus, you be lifted higher. Be lifted higher. Be lifted higher. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live, I live to worship you. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live, I live. To worship you, oh. oh, oh. I'm trading my sorrows, I'm trading my pain, I'm laying it down for the joy of the Lord. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchased of God, born of his spirit and washed in his blood. Yes, I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. Yes, I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown and exchange it someday. He never promised that the cross would not get heavy and the hill will not be hard to climb. He never offered us victory without fighting, but he said hell will come right on time. Just remember when you're standing in the valley of decision and the adversary says, give in. This Jason Crabb song. Just hold on, our Lord will show up and he will take you through the fire again. There's gold in the fire. There's gold in the fire. 
There's God in the fire, and it's me. That's Kim Clements. <laughs> that's a little high, but that's Kim Clements. There's God in the fire, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. There's God in the fire. And it's me. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen king, seated in majesty. Hallelujah. No sweeter name than the name of Jesus. No sweeter name than I'll ever know. No sweeter name than the Name of Jesus. That's Kerry Joe. <laughs> you are the light to my heart and my soul. You are the hope to the darkness around me. You are the hope to my heart and my soul. You are the only truth and the way. That's Kerry Joe. <laughs> Say the name of Jesus. Say the name of Jesus. Say the name so precious. No other name I know that can calm your, your fears, dry your tears, and take away your pain. When I don't know what else to pray And I can't find the words to say Say the name <laughs> uh, Shout to the Lord <laughs> We are dealing with angels are bringing your investors <laughs> Angels are bringing Brand new investors to your life. You have to know what to do when the investors come and how to unlock the investors. Number one, investors, they are, when we deal with supernatural investors, where the Holy Spirit is guiding the investors to you, these are individuals that are taking on your same heart. They're taking on your same spirit and your same attitude and response to God they take on that same demeanor, that same attentiveness, that same reaction, and they do that to you as you did it to God. Now, if we want to get more in depth in with investors, investors are actually um, reflecting how you dealt with your man of God. So if your heart hardens towards your man of God after they work for you. So will people's heart harden when you work for them. Now, saints, I, 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 want, I want to bring this into proportion as well. You can look at a sinner right now and be like, you know, well, how come their business goes? Like they're not doing nothing for a man of God. So how is their business going? How do they have investors? Those are people that's in the satanic covenant. Remember, you don't want to be in the satanic covenant. You want to be in the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich and add no sorrow. You want to be a part of him responding to you because of your obedience and, and the rewards that you do receive. It will continue into eternal life. Those people, their reward will stop after they leave their bodies. And so they're going to be punished. 
for illegally enjoying investors in a way that was illegal. It wasn't God's way. So you don't want to just make money and just have people investing in you just because, you know, you have dreams to live good and you have dreams to um, have the finer things in life. You want people investing into you because it's the blessing of the Lord. Like saints, um, I want you to catch this. If you look at the broadcast I did last night, if you look at the broadcast that I do every day, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that the spirit of the living God lives inside of me and rules me. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that. You don't have to, you, you don't have to be, you don't even have to watch me for three years to know that I'm not faking this. This is my life. I, when I come to you and talk to you, this is just the overflow of what I'm always in. If somebody comes talk to me right now and I'm not on this live, I could kick some wisdom to them that's deep and you'll never know about it, but you'll only know about what's documented. You see what I'm saying? So when I come on here, it's documented. When, when I, when I do a video, it's documented. But this is who I am as a person 24 seven. I don't have to pray to come into this. This is my office. This is my life. So even if I'm laughing with you, we could be at a movie or anything. We could be out eating and we could be, uh, we, we could be anywhere, bowling, anything, playing pool, anything, cars, whatever. I am this. This is not something I have to conjure up or pray for or fast for. This is who I am. So. When I come on here. I don't, I'm not in a zone where I'm attempting to, um, I'm not, I'm not trying to conjure up something to make you believe in God. I'm just giving you my realm and I know my realm works. You see what I'm saying? I'm giving you my dimension. I know my dimension works. And because I love you, I want you to experience this because investors are a part of how you deal with your man of God. Now, I'm not a hypocrite to this. I met Dr. Mike Murdoch in 2014. I went to Texas in 2014 and I worked with Dr. Mike Murdoch for a, a large amount of time. Um, before I met Dr. Mike Murdoch, I was preaching and uh, uh, healing the sick and prophesying. And one of the uh, individuals at the revival, their mother, was given three days to live. And I was holding a slot in the revival. I just had a couple moments in that revival. It was probably like a 30 minute slot. I didn't have no long slot, but I, I got in, I taught the word for a couple minutes and then I went into demonstration and prophesying. The girl's mother was in the, uh, the place. And long story short, the girl's mother uh, got healed after I, 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 of course, I prayed for her and delivered her by the power of God. And the three days that she had, when she was just sticking bones, she was revived. She came back, got healed from the cancer, all those different type of things. And so, meanwhile, not knowing that this 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 um this person had connection to Dr. Mike Murdoch, <laughs> so. You see how you got to be in the right place at the right time. I'm dealing with investors and you got to let the Lord be able to use you. You can't procrastinate. What if I didn't minister to that uh, woman? What if I didn't? What if I didn't believe in the healing power that I have? You talk about prophet. You ain't got no healing power. God got healing power. I got healing power. If you want pity like that, I got healing power. <laughs> Jesus said, you go heal the sick. You go raise the dead. He didn't say, call me. That's the problem. <laughs> Some of y'all be out of town. I said, Lord, please do it. Lord, Lord, please do it. The Lord, like, please do it. What, what this got to do with me? I told you to do it. <laughs> 
La, 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 please put the wig cap back on. La, you put the wig cap back on your daggone self. And so since um, 2014, I get connected with Dr. Mike Man. I serve him, uh, working with him in his ministry, pushing him and endorsing who he is everywhere I go, everything, everywhere. It's all about him, which is the most wonderful thing. 2014. Now let's fast forward. This is eight years later. Eight years later. Here I am today. Just think about it. So you, you have to know, um, I'm not a hypocrite to this. When I talk about taking care of your man of God, I'm not a hypocrite to this. There's no, there's no selfish motive in this. I'm just telling you of the Holy Spirit's way for you to unlock your life. You have to tap into your apostle. You have to connect with your apostle. And you can't just let them fulfill their ministry towards you. You got to fulfill your ministry towards them. And this is how you allow the angels to bring in the investors. Because there is a part that you have to play in your, in, uh, your man of God's story, your apostle's story. And they need you to play your part so that they don't be hindered. Now you could be replaced, but that's not going to be profitable to your man of God because the the smooth schedule is you. I, I need somebody to touch yourself right now in a good way because some of y'all done violated, but this is a good way. This is a victorious way. Touch yourself right now and say, I am the smooth plan of God to my man of God. That's deep, man. That's deep, boy. That's deep. If you really think about what I just said, I am the smooth plan of God to my man of God. If God can't use me, he can use somebody else, but it's going to be rough. Because the time that he spent inducting me and, and, and training me and molding me and opening my eyes, now he has to spend even more time getting that other individual in the place that I am. Since everybody got replacement, everybody got replacement. Remember, what made you who you are today? The power of God, correct? What made you what you were today? Your willingness to that power of God as well, right? Well, saints, there's somebody else that could have that willingness. And there's someone else that that power of God could flow in. And even in greater measures. And, and this is what makes you really put out the best effort, the best performance, the best willingness towards God. Because recognize he could find and raise up somebody else to replace you. But I am the smooth plan of God. See, Jesus understood I am the smooth plan of God. So, so Jesus didn't want nobody else to have to come and try to uh, 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 perform this invention. You know what Jesus did? He laid down his life. It said he was tempted in all points, yet he did not sin. I am the smooth plan of God. So watch this people of God. Your apostle has investing, investor activating glory. If you're taking notes, write that down. If you're taking notes, write that down. Your apostle has investor activating glory in him, on him, and around him. L write that down. Your apostle has investor activating glory in him, upon him, around him. And so you actually can take a hold of that power and utilize that power to go to degrees with God that you never gone before in your receptivity of help from people in this life. So, 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 so when this glory start moving, this glory, it, it, it is accompanied by angels of God that literally bring people to you to be nice to you. 
Now, since I saw this in a vision, what I'm teaching you right here, I saw this in a vision as well. Because I had saw an angel of the Lord go and they was escorting someone. They was holding them by their elbow and they was ushering them. They was, you know how you chaperone somebody? Like even when they're elderly, I saw an angel of the Lord. It was a male angel bringing another male and it was holding him by like the elbow, like escorting him and bringing him. And I, 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 uh, I saw this, uh, about an hour ago, right? And, and so the spirit of God started moving me into this, this, uh, this, this fresh prophetic word because what I saw was a spiritual activity. And this is what goes on when you are a person that's abiding by God's laws and his principles. He gets people to do unto you what you've been doing to your apostle, which is God in the body. These angels, they are a part of the apostles investor activating glory, investor activating glory. And these angels, they go forth with this glory. What well, you say, prophet, what is this glory? It's a force. Yes, it's God's manifested presence. You heard that. Yes, it's the Shekinah. You heard that. It's a force. The glory is a force. And the angels are the reinforcement. See, every time you sow, you operating in law enforcement. Sowing is a law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. See, you, you probably thought I was going to say it's the law of Moses. No, 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 no. Before Moses ever uh, manifested according to the scriptures, according to the word of God and showing up as a man, before that Mosaic law, sowing was going on in Adam's day, in Noah's day. So it's not the Mosaic law. You see what I'm saying? Sowing is the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. So saints, when, when you are sower, you, you are operating in law enforcement. You are penetrating the earth realm with the glory of God. When that glory comes, money cometh. When the glory cometh, money cometh is in that glory because the angels in, in this angelic department, there's also financial angels. And that's all they come for, for, to make you a financial spectacle for the world to see. So people can see how great is your God in provision. So saints, when, when the apostle, they got, act, they got investor activating glory in them, on them, around them. It's a company with angels. These angels, they go and they recruit investors unto you for you because it is you that is doing the sowing. It is you that's doing the honor towards God. So they are working for you, not your, not, I'm going to shock some of y'all. Not your mama that's sick. Not your daddy that is playing and gambling in the casino. Not your sister, your brother. And you, some of y'all, you might miss it. You probably be like, oh, prophet, what are you talking about? Not your mama that's sick. That's, ain't that kind of cruel, prophet? No, 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 no. You missed it. We often look at sympathetic situations and think that the glory of God is working for people because they're in a sympathetic position. No. We look at people in dire situations and we think that because they're in a dire situation, that's where the glory of God is working the most. That's where the angels are working the most. No. The angels and the glory work where God's word is being obeyed. 
That's why we often look at people that's homeless, they're they poor, they're living underneath the bridge. And we think that the glory of God it won't, is, is moving that direction. The angels moving that direction because the person is in a dire situation. That's not where the glory works and that's not where the money coming from. That's not where the angels moving and that's not where the angels uh, of investors are moving. They are moving where sowing is going on. We often have sympathized with people's situation because it looks bad. But saints, I want you to catch this. You have to obey the kingdom system for the kingdom to get to you. There's people in the Philippines right now that's hungry. That, that probably ain't going to eat nothing today. But they also ain't going to obey nothing God say either. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've been hungry. But them hunger pains make you more obedient. I've been broke. But them broke pains make you obedient. I've been sick. But them sick pains make you obedient. I've been rejected, but them rejected pains make you obedient. Some of you are, you go through pain and you don't even change. I don't know how some of you females in here is witches and warlocks. I don't understand how you're a witch and a warlock. Y'all niggas don't be feeling that pain during your period. Don't worry, I'm going to get to the brothers in a couple minutes. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to get to the brothers. God, the mighty know, I think Zendaya done tore out my loop six. <laughs> it's a God dang. I think Zendaya was playing with my Bible done tore out loop six. I ain't got loop six. Say, this is this is a discrepancy. You can tell I was teaching Luke. Look, I ain't got loop six up in this mug. Look. <laughs> I ain't got loop six. Look, look, say. Look, this loop, this loop six right here. Look, I ain't got loop six in this one. Ain't this about a double flood plucker right here? <laughs> you know, little children, they don't do it on purpose, but they be rough, boy. They be excited, all energetic. You look at a little child, then you look at old person, David. But a little child be out there excited. Some of y'all better stop giving them them pills, them them them, 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 them drowsy pills on them children. That's why, that's why grown ups be crazy today. You don't know how much drowsy pills your parents spit on you. You the only one that can't see that you a lunatic. Everybody else be trying to tell you, girl, you gotta get that fixed. You, you right, girl? I'm okay. Stop hating on me, boo boo. They, they up there hating on me, boo boo. They're up there hating on me, boo boo. You inside the room talking to yourself. Ain't nobody talking to you. Ain't nobody in there talking to you. They hating on me, boo boo. You gotta know that you're crazy because you argue with people in your mind. I'ma tell him what I wanna say. He he think that is bad. You think you think your head bobbing like that. You look like Marlon Wayans. Hey, I'ma tell him what and you talking to yourself. Ain't nobody in there, baby. Oh, oh, he gonna say that to me? He think, who he think I am? Oh, he got me bent. I'm about to say it. Oh, she got me bent. She think that, oh, next time, do it again. Do it again. Walk in the room. Do it again. Tell me that I can't wear these stockings with holes in it by the thigh area. Think that she going to tell me by the thigh area. Cause, oh, by my thigh area. She jealous because I got thigh fat. I got thigh fat. I got thigh fat. You women go through a period every month. You have cramps, you have pain, you have nausea sometimes, bloated. You have headaches, you have all how y'all don't be, how y'all don't, how y'all don't go through that pain? Y'all go through that pain every month. How you go through that pain and you don't quicken yourself and say, ah, oh, let me listen to the Holy Ghost for my life. How, how, how that, how that work? Saints pain 
is supposed to make you pause and evaluate your soulish condition. I'm saying this because you can't walk in investors if your soul is not investing into God. Your soul has to learn how to invest into God. Saints, some of you women might look at it and be like, what men go through? Nothing. <laughs> and I just heard the Holy Ghost say, say nothing because man wasn't the first one that ate from that tree. It was woman. Adam was like over 90% of men. You rather let your wife be a witch than to get that heifer underneath control and she be angry at you. Adam 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 to pick over 99.9 men in the earth. They rather keep the peace in the home with a witch rather than bring that heifer into subjection. We came up with sayings, happy wife, happy life. But the man not happy, the man making the money. The man up there, the one keeping the whole house alive. If it's not for the man, ain't, 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 ain't nobody going to eat. When it's really happy king, happy everything. A man could do way more than an angry woman. A man with money could do way more than an angry woman. Did you hear what I just said? I said a man with money could do way more than an angry woman. It's really happy king, happy everything. We see that all throughout the word of God. Adam represented over 99%, over 100% of men, 99% <laughs> of men on earth. They rather let their wife be at peace while doing wrong rather than bring it into subjection. The Bible said if a man does not rule his house, he shouldn't be preaching. That's what the word say. It said, don't, don't try to rule the church of God if you can't bring your house into subjection. So all, so, so saints, when we look at the Adam story, Adam just represented, uh, 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 what men still doing today. If you won't understand Adam, you, some of y'all probably be like, oh, Adam was stupid. How could he eat from the tree? Oh, saints, I mean, we see it all the time. It, it, yes, it is stupid. We don't, we don't take from that, but it's not like it's not something that we don't, that stupidity. We see it all the time. Because how, how many, how many, how many men you, 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 you could look, you could see that their wife wrong, but that man would sit right there. He like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want no argument. I don't want her defaming me to the public. I don't want her fighting me in no court. I don't want her pinning up no legal, legal issue up against me. I don't want her telling me, you know, you know, she, she up there was playing with my toes while we was in the bedroom. I don't want her to tell the people that I like my toes to be played with. I, 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 I like her blowing in my ear. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to tell. <laughs> I don't like, I don't want to tell the world. I like my ear blowed on. You know what I like? You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about blowjob. I'm talking about my ears, blowing my ears. By the way, I don't get turned on by that. So don't think I'm talking about me. This is just jokes. <laughs> I don't like that. Don't blow in my ear because I might. I might bop you. Hey, hey, oh, oh, that's you. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was Willis. I thought that was Willis. I thought I was in prison. So, saints, I ain't talking about me. That don't. That's not my fascination. Just understand that. That, that don't turn me on. I don't, don't think I'm talking about me. Don't be meeting me at no conference, Tulsa. Prophet, let me get a hug. <laughs> you better blow my air. No, 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 Prophet, come on, let me get high. Can we take a picture? Take a picture. And, and you try. <laughs> that ain't my fascination, baby. Don't, don't blow on me. Don't blow on me. Because I might Dragon Ball Z kick you with one of them Prince Hills that I'm going to be wearing. Them Prince Hills. Abundance of rain. Abundance of rain. 
<laughs> abundance of rain, abundance of rain. Say, I, I think I could make a song like that and make it a hit. If I made a song like that, I think it would be a hit. If I put the put the strings, abundance of rain, abundance of rain. Ooh. I shouldn't have had did that motion like that. Abundance of rain, abundance of rain. <laughs> Now, saying, what I'm saying to you is this. You might say, what do men go through every month? Nothing. We don't got no period. Period. <laughs> we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't go through no cramps. We don't bleed every month. We don't go through nausea. You know why God didn't let that happen to a man? Because it wasn't man that ate from the tree first. It was a woman. The woman gave to her husband. What I'm saying to you is that if you look at the Adam and Eve situation, be like, how could that man be so stupid? There's 99% stupid men today. Their wife will do whatever they want to do. They're just, you baby, you baby, you baby, you baby, you baby, you can be a witch. I love you. Let's keep the peace in the home. That's over 99% of men. Because saints, even if you, if you deal with, uh, uh, if you deal with the wife of this day and time, it was like that in the past and past times, but even more so today because our generation more so underneath the God of this world. If you try to bring a woman into subjection, there's some backlashes. The woman going to fight you. The, the, the woman going to have a retaliation. But all that stuff is small. Bring the house in subjection. <laughs> you rather go through all that to still bring the house in subjection. What I'm saying is, is that you're going to have to bring order before God brings investors. Because remember, God cannot bless this order because remember, the investors are going to come and watch you. And if they're watching you and they see this order, they're going to be discouraged to keep on investing. Saints, I'm talking to you deep on here. How many people could the Lord speak to their heart? To invest in you. And when they come to invest in you. Their physical eyes look. And tell them something else that God told them. And it's not like God can't find somebody else. But. They were the smooth plan of God. Are you listening to me? They were the smooth plan of God. So it's not like God can't send somebody else, but that might take six months. So you got six months of out of the will of God provision. Because the will of God really wanted this. Remember, the Bible says give no place to the devil. Let's talk in here. When we are no, giving no place to the devil, you must also look at the aspect of investors. You can't give place to the devil with the investors that are assigned to your life. Saints, let me give you an example. If I came out here smoking a blunt, some of y'all would think it's cool, right? But if I came out here smoking a blunt, some of y'all would be like, huh? your first glance would say, You know why? Because that's not the wisdom for investors. By the way, I don't smoke blunts. I never will. I probably might do a picture with a blunt. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> but I'm just giving you an example. There's a wisdom and presentation for investors to reach you. And if you look chaotic, if you look like you a slave, if you look like you don't have 
things are guided by wisdom. The physical eye of the investor could be taken away from what the spirit of God told them to do. I'm giving you some wisdom on here that's in the glory that you must know. Your presentation matter. Some of you all, you wake up every day, smell funny, look funny, look funny as hell. Look like the Easter rabbit. And uh, you expect God to bring somebody to you that's going to change your life financially. You go outside with a wrap on your head. You got more wraps on your head than Taco Bell. Some of you all don't wake up even looking like you expect nothing from God. Your angels be looking at you. They be bored as I don't know what. <laughs> Say, imagine your angel looking at you every day. Saints, you'll be shocked if you go to God in prayer. Lord, please make a way for me. Your angel looking at you every day like, girl, you ain't, you, man, you ain't about. I can't believe Jesus picked me up. I thought I was going to be doing something. And then saints, don't think for one minute that angels don't be looking at other angels when they're moving with their people. They don't get jealous, but they don't get jealous. They don't because jealous, they, they're not getting jealous. But don't think for one minute, angels be looking at people. Other angels and the other angels are advancing. They know about it. The angels do know about it, but then they with you. They be looking at you sleep. Sometimes you sleep more than you sleep more than the cub in New Zealand. <laughs> more than the cubs in Alaska. Eh? Angels got eyes. They look, they watch, they view. How they gonna bring investors to you? They looking at you. And you don't have not one ounce of bone in you expecting the bigness of God. You're not even dreaming. You're not even looking for nothing mighty to happen to you. And some of y'all, you know, you know, let me let me just tell you this. Don't join this ministry and start sowing and, and, and then uh, uh, you, you, you don't got no faith, no soul operating in your giving. Sowing is a dreaming activity because every dream comes to pass. The angels, they watch you. You ain't got no dream. You ain't got no expectation. You're not even looking for nothing. Saints, if I would have hung around religious people, I would have been so stupid and so dumb. You want to get around broke mentality? Get around a religious person. Them niggas will do everything that block money and then still tell you God is able to make all grace to God. Everything working for our good. Them niggas will have you operate as a witch and then have you confessing stuff that good about to happen to you. You you won't be stupid financially. Get around a religious person. I'm glad I didn't get around them, them Pharisee niggas. Pharisee niggas will have you operate in a sorcery and they act like God steal your source and he about to supply you. Man, I'm glad I came out from among them. And some of y'all need to come out from among them today. Because you don't understand God created you to be a multimillionaire. You just wasting time. 
And some of you all want to rebuke you because your horniness making you have horns. You living for the devil because you horny. You don't know how to control your tun tun. You don't know how to control your, your bojangles. You letting that stop your prosperity. You supposed to have way more money than you got, but you're wasting your time. That was one of the things. Now you understand why I was, I was, what they call it, celibate? Well, celibate prior word after you done did something and then you, but I was a virgin. Now you understand why I was a virgin. I really didn't want to give my energy, my life over to nobody. I didn't want to give my spirit over to nobody. Cause I, I was in, I was in a mode of making things happen. I was like, uh, I can't afford to breach my building process. You know, I'm building this new vision. I'm building this new grace. I'm building this new assignment. I'm building this new provisional portal. I, I ain't got time. When you waste time, your investors are left waiting for you. Your investors are left waiting for you because you got to come up to a certain par to receive their ministry for you. And saints, let me just give you another revelation that when you don't come up to par, neither is your sowing assignment to God. Because that, the fact that you haven't come up to par, those things that the devil still got in your personality are also hindering your sowing hands. You're not able to sow like God wants you to sow. So you're not going to reap what God wants you to reap. Because the devil got a foothold on your life, a stronghold on your life. So you think that the devil got 30% of your life? You think that you're going to be giving God 100% what he want? No. Because at 30%, Satan going to exercise Satan's authority that you have given to him. And that 30%, Satan going to utilize that 30% to keep you in a financial whirlwind and investors will not be able to reach you because Satan has place. Satan has the power of attorney to speak up because you gave it to Satan. There's a lot of angles to this. There are children that when they grow up, they won't let go of their parents in the sense that they want to be mama's boy or uh, daughters. Uh, they, they want to be uh, daddy daughters, be a mama's boy. It, this go in different angles. And so in those aspects like that, children got to let go of their parents and take up responsibility and make something happen. Children will never receive their investors if they don't work and sow. You have to teach your children a work ethic. Many people raise their children to be lazy. That's not the blessing. You say, prophet, well, I'm supposed to be having my child working at seven years old. I'm not talking about that. You got to teach your child that there is a grace for them to work something every day, whether it be a response, an attitude, a studying. There's a grace for them every day to work something. Many children grow up lazy when they grow up. They cling to their parents. They are irresponsible and they know that their parents are going to bail them out whenever they have a situation. And so they don't grow up. They go to jail on purpose, knowing that mama going to be right there. Daddy going to be right there bailing them out. And that's witchcraft. By the way, that's manipulation. And some of you all got children like that. And you want to go to God. You wonder why God not answering them prayers. Because them some damn prayers. Them prayers are damned. Holy Ghost don't answer prayers like that. You, you, you trying to uh, get God to bless your vagabond daughter, vagabond son. He don't go, he don't answer them prayers like that. You need to know these things. If you got vagabond children, don't, 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 don't burden the Holy Ghost with all that stuff. They need to change. And when they get into a hard situation, don't bail them out. I'm prophesying to somebody on here. You better listen to what I'm saying. Cause you're going to see it in, 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 uh, in less than two months. When the situation rise up and when they get pregnant, don't raise their child for them. Don't raise, don't raise their child after, 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 after you done poured in all that wisdom and told them some stuff 
and they don't want to listen to you, then they come back to you. I'm pregnant. I, 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 you pregnant by yourself. What am I supposed to do? You got to figure that out. You, you missed the big bad girl, right? You missed the big bad boy, right? So handle that yourself, player. Some of y'all need to tell your sons that. Your daughters that. Because they like to talk up to you. Blah, 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 blah. Then when it's time for the get down, now they, they, they come down humble. Because they locked up. Because they hemmed up in a situation. No, no, keep that same energy. Fix it. Fix it. You didn't want the counsel. So handle the consequence. So it goes both ways. Children have investors that they have to unlock. See, every seed that Zendaya sows into me, there's somebody scheduled to invest into her when she's 23, when she's 24, when she's 25, when she's 18, when she's 17, she's 16. There's somebody that she's activating to sow into her. See, some of y'all don't think like this, but you're listening to a wisdom, eternal impartation here. Some of y'all never thought about this when you, were, when you was a child and your parent didn't think about this either. While she's sowing to me at four, when she's 14, there is harvests attached to that. When she's eight, there's harvests attached to what she's doing today. You see that? And her investors are unleashed because she's not going to be lazy. She's going to be placed a demand upon to operate in what she knows. You see, investors are a result. It is a reward of you operating in what you knew and what God taught you. And so therefore now God is able to minister things to you that you want to happen because you let him talk to you. You let him tell you things. You let him give you instructions. You let him sow through you. So now people are able to sow to you. God has to be able to sow through you for him to use people to sow to you. My God. God has to be able to sow through you for him to anoint people to sow to you. 